Welcome back to another Geek Watt video and today I'm going to be telling you why you perhaps shouldn't buy Intel's brand new KB Lake CPUs. <music> you think thinking, James, yesterday you put up a KB Lake build guide, the day before a KB Lake motherboard review, and now you're telling me not to buy a KB Lake CPU. What is wrong with you? Now the reason I'm saying this, and there's a one word answer, Zen. Now I know a lot of people are probably going to be quite triggered by that answer, but let me explain. Now AMD have said that their first new big CPU release will be quarter 1 2017, that's their AMD Ryzen chip, formerly previously known as Zen. Now these chips are going to be going head to head with Intel's latest KB Lake releases. And, and, and we never know, this is the first new CPU release from AMD in quite some time. They showed off their 10, one of their 10 core Zen chips against Intel's highest end, 10 core 6950. X, and the performance was basically identical, but no doubt that AMD's chip will probably be quite a piece cheaper. Now, it may be that AMD release their CPUs, the demand will be very high for them when they come out. They might not come out till the end of quarter one, i.e. the end of March. There could be a delay. All of those are factors you do have to take into consideration. And normally I would say, stop procrastinating, just buy it, because then you'll be waiting for the next thing. However, this is AMD's biggest CPU launch in about eight, nine years. They're moving from DDR3 to DDR4, something Intel have supported for literally like three or four years now on their uh, consumer side and enthusiasts side. So really AMD do have a lot of catching up to do, but no doubt that AMD's chips, I don't doubt they're going to be very capable and hopefully very affordable. The, the kind of demand and the, uh, the demand and the supply could be where uh, AMD Zen hits a bit of a wall in terms of problems. No doubt, as I said a minute ago, the demand will be high, which could force the prices up. But if AMD get enough of these chips uh, to shops uh, and to uh, outlets, so Newegg, Amazon, NCIX, all that kind of stuff, then hopefully uh, there will be enough to supply uh, and supplement for that demand. But let's just say these AMD chips perform fantastically. They blow KB Lake out the water, and these KB Lake chips will still be incredibly good CPUs, but they will have to be pushed down in price in order to be competitive, in order to actually sell against these AMD chips. Now, of course, Intel are going to have that core fan base. Intel have got the people behind them, the people that will go, oh, I'll only buy Intel. There will be a lot of people that buy KB Lake on launch. However, it may possibly be worth, especially if you're on a budget, waiting for AMD Zen, so you can compare the two up. You still might end up buying a KB8 chip, but by waiting what could be a month or even two months, which in the grand scheme of things isn't very long, it may allow you to save some more money up, possibly afford a better CPU in the end, and also it may mean that you end up getting a better CPU or better value for money, which is a really key thing I'm trying to put across in this video. It also may be that if you wait that little bit of time, you may still end up going for a KB Lake chip. However, it's not going to be another 18 months anyway until a new CPU launch, and even then it will be incremental over KB Lake. Really, I cannot stress enough, a matter of a month or two really is worth waiting out. Normally I'd say stop procrastinating, just go and buy the CPU or the GPU or whatever part it may be. But in this case, I think if I were the consumer, if I was somebody buying CPUs, and I will be buying KBLA chips on launch, I would wait for AMD's Ryzen or Zen architecture. So hopefully you understood the points I was making. If you did, please drop a like rating on this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this beautiful face. I'm sure many people would disagree. And also share this video on Facebook or Twitter. Tag your friends in it, whatever. Let's get some channel growth, some more views, subs, that kind of thing. I really do hope you all had a good new year though and a good Christmas and uh, welcome to 2017. Like I'm the connoisseur of the year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as I said, drop that like rating. But as always, we'll see you in the next Geek Co-op video.